Hello my sweeties and welcome back to my channel. If you don't already know me, my name is Celise and thank you for joining my spooky little family. Today we will be talking about fried berry. Let's get into the video. Before we get into anything regarding this film, I would first like to give a shout out to my patron as above so tello for recommending this film for me to review. If you would like to recommend a film for me to review in a video like this or other fun perks, definitely check out my Patreon page which will be linked down below in the description box. This film is a wild fucking ride. <laughs> Written and directed by Ryan Kruger, starring Gary Green, Fried Barry follows Barry, a drug-addled, abusive bastard who, after yet another bender, is abducted by aliens. Barry takes a back seat as our alien tourist enters the weird and wonderful world of humankind. So this film is actually based upon the short film of the same name, which earned 57 official selections and 12 wins at festivals around the world. And honestly, with good reason. This film is absolutely insane in the best way. <laughs> Forgoing a traditional script, Fried Berry was written in three days as a scene breakdown, and most of the film's dialogue and blocking was actually improvised or workshopped on set. And that kind of brings me right into the performance from Gary Green. Gary Green has actually never starred as a lead before in any film. He's most known for being an extra and doing stuntman work. Ryan Kruger actually cast him numerous times over the years in much smaller roles because of Gary's very striking appearance. Honestly, for it being his first leading role, he does a great job. Gary is very natural on screen and easily makes every single scene intense, and that really comes with his incredible body language. He is able to make such unique and striking faces that really, like, gets under your skin at times. And with him barely having any dialogue in the film, that is super important. The way that he just makes the audience so intrigued with him, with his body, amazing. It is certainly a challenge to carry an entire film solely on your facial expressions, but oh my god, does he do it so well. The style of Fried Berry is really what does it for me. We have really beautiful and captivating visuals. The use of neon lights is a nice touch, and y'all know I absolutely love some neon lights in my movies. It's all done very stylishly. One thing I really loved that was quirky and stylish was the intermission bit that was put in. It really gives the movie that late night theatrical feel and I am a sucker for that. At the very start of this film, we just jump right in. It doesn't drag at all. I am talking some twisted imagery, some mind fuckery, and intense dancing within like the first 30 minutes. <laughs> It is absolutely wild. But that was one thing that kept me heavily invested in this one. There was never a dull moment and I had no clue what was going to happen next. It was honestly quite fun and refreshing to see something like this. The film was taking a lot of risk visually and the direction from Ryan Kruger is solid. I do enjoy horror comedies, but only when they are done well and actually make me laugh, which it is hard to get a genuine laugh from me with these kinds of films, but this, this does it. <laughs> a big reason I enjoy this film so much was because of the way that Ryan Kruger focuses on Barry. I feel as though we really get an intimate look into the character. It feels like we are really on this journey with him and it helps us as the audience kind of get to know him a little better, which to me is just good storytelling. The trippiness of this film reminds me of films like Mandy and Color Out of Space. So if you did like those movies, you are definitely going to like this one. Another thing that really impressed me here is the sound design. This movie just sounded so good. Love that. Whoever did the sound, 
hired. If there are three things I would have to say about this movie, it would be sound design, visuals, and Gary's performance is what this film is all about. The story isn't very complex at all, but it's about the journey that you go on. Every second, something weirder is happening, and I don't wanna spoil anything for anyone who hasn't caught this film yet, but my favorite scene had to be the hospital scene. It was just so much fun. I mean, I thought about it for a few days after watching this, Loved it. Shout out to my guy, Sean Cameron Michael, who played Ronald, because he was so great in this scene. I fell in love with this character and we only get maybe five or 10 minutes with him. Like that is how good he was, you guys. And while I'm on the topic of Sean's role, I think it's worth mentioning that the extras in this film are absolutely hilarious too. Everyone on this set understood the assignment. I will say before giving my rating that this film is super trippy and contains a lot of drugs and also a lot of nudity. So if that's something that you're not into, then maybe you want to skip this one. If you want to see something that is completely crazy, that easily immerses you into the world, and you like aliens, then I think you'll have to check this one out. And with that, I am going to be giving Fried Berry three and a half levs out of five. This is just a really fun ride and you can tell that everybody was having so much fun making this. Honestly, I wish I could have been a part of this project. Like it just looked like a great time. If you would like to watch Fried Berry, it is available to stream right now on Shudder here in the US. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps me a lot. And be sure to click that little notification bell to be up to date every single time I upload. And let me know in the comments, have you seen Fried Berry? Do you plan on checking it out? I would love to talk about it. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.